All right, my friends, now you can look back at your TV screens. And hey, with the boxing medal rounds in full force in Rio, one Nogales born Tucson race fighter is reminiscing about his Olympic experience. I recently sat down with Oscar Valdez, the proud Sonoran Desert native, took part in two Olympic Games, finishing just short of medaling in both. And he's returned to spend time with family right here in Southern Arizona, since recently winning the WBO Featherweight Championship of the World. Just last month, Oscar Valdez TKO'd Matia Ruedas of Argentina to win his first professional world title. The victory kept Valdez unbeaten with 20 victories and 18 knockouts. Dreams do come true if you work hard. And that work first began with Valdez making a name for himself worldwide as an Olympic boxer with Mexico, where he was born. Well, for me, going to Olympics is without a doubt is one of the best experiences of my life. My dream was to get the gold medal and bring it to Mexico. That, that's something I couldn't accomplish, but I'm still happy with me just performing in, in the Olympics. You know, I'm doing a great job. I, I followed my heart off, you know, and did everything I can. The judges saw something that I didn't see. And make no mistake, despite his ties south of the border, Valdez is also Pima County proud. Tucson, Arizona. The mother and siblings of Oscar Valdez still call this neighborhood just west of downtown Tucson home. In fact, Oscar Valdez tells me, besides fond memories of being an Olympian and of course being an undefeated pro boxer. He also remembers Barrio Hollywood very well as a kid. He attended Monzo Elementary and of course the educators at Monzo also have lots of good things to say about Oscar. And that I continue making a difference with his siblings, especially having Bianca. Bianca. And then you bend down. Oscar Valdez's sister and a student in Miss Grijalva's class at Monzo Elementary. I am so glad that Miss Grijalva had Oscar. I was still pass through Water Hollywood in my house and um, you know, I always have these great memories. Memories Luis Barra shares with the boxer he's mentored since his days in youth boxing in Nogales. When we lost in those Olympics, he suffered tremendously. It was a real tough thing for him, but he got back on his feet. And and um, here he is, a world title holder. It meant the world to me, uh, fighting, fighting and representing my country. And becoming part of an exclusive club of Olympians from right here in the Sonoran Desert. You gotta be an Olympian to know what it, what it means. Hey, both Oscar Valdez and his promoter, Boxing Hall of Famer, Bob Aram, have told me they are trying to get his first world championship bout, uh, the rematch, to take place right here in Tucson. We'll keep you updated. Reporting live for the Olympic Zone, I'm Paul Cicala, wishing you pure Olympic energy, international goodwill, and positive vibes. Still to come on the Olympic Zone. You may think you know Bob Costas. And that'll do it for all of us tonight from Rio. Describe how pumped up you are about fighting in your home state. You know, I'm pumped up. I'm ready. You know, every fight I, I, I get, I train my 110%, and we're ready. You know, we're ready for Saturday night, ready to, to give the crowd a, a show. Hey, that was Jose Benavidez Jr., the undefeated WBA interim super lightweight champion of the world right here in the old Pueblo. Good evening to you. I'm Paul Cicala. Championship prize fighting is making a return to Tucson with a nationally televised bout promoted by Boxing Hall of Famer Bob Arum, top rank and Iron Boy, along with Arizona's very own Jose Benavidez Jr., two-time Olympian and Tucson and Oscar Valdez heads up the fight card less than 48 hours away at the TCC. The countdown is on for Saturday fight night at the Tucson Convention Center. Undefeated fighter Oscar Valdez is known all throughout the Sonoran Desert as a boxing brawler whose family is from here in the old Pueblo. Uh, I grew up here in Tucson and it's, it's a big opportunity for me to show my people, my, my crowd, who Oscar Valdez is and um, give, give them what they want. It's a good fight. A fight against Ernie Sanchez, a boxer from the Philippines with a 15-6-1 record. It's the main event for the Tucson boxer who was born in Nogales and also suited up in the 2008 and 2012 Summer Olympics for Mexico. But make no mistake, when he's not training in California and other boxing hotspots, Valdez and his family are all Pima County proud. Me and my father, we started training here in Tucson. The mother and siblings of Oscar Valdez still call this neighborhood just west of downtown Tucson home. In fact, Oscar Valdez tells me, besides fond memories of being an Olympian and of course being an undefeated pro boxer, 
He also remembers Barrio Hollywood very well as a kid. He attended Monso Elementary and of course, the educators at Monso Mr. Hub. also have lots of good things to say about Oscar. I am honored that he remembers me and that um, I made a difference in his life and that I continue making a difference with his siblings, especially having Bianca. Bianca. And then you bend down. Oscar Valdez's sister and a student in Miss Grijalva's class at Monso Elementary. I am so glad that Miss Grijalva had Oscar too. Describe how much pride you have for your brother being such a good boxer. I'm really happy about him that he's gonna fight. I still pass through Water Hollywood in my house, and um, you know, I always have these great memories. You know, the same friends I used to have in Mons Elementary, um, they're still my friends now. Friends from the old neighborhood in Tucson, and new friends like Boxing Hall of Famer Bob Arum, top rank. Thank you, Bob Arum, for giving me this great opportunity. A native son, born and lives in Nogales, which is the sister city of Tucson. There are many fight fans here in Tucson. Fight fans are ready to see a knockout card this weekend at the TCC. Going to establish Tucson as a hotbed for boxing. Starting with this man, remember the name, Oscar Valdez. If you want tickets for the bouts and info on other fighters, we have an article on KVOA.com. Also, tomorrow's weigh-in at the TCC is free and open to the public starting at 2 p.m.